Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a Briggs & Stratton, a industrial commercial cast iron sleeved 3.5 horsepower engine. The purpose of today's video is just gonna be showing you the governor linkage configuration. I find it a struggle sometimes when you take off the governor linkages, especially the springs, and you lose track of, and you don't take a picture of how they go back together. Today I'm gonna to be showing you on this specific modeled engine exactly how the linkages are placed and configured. For those that are curious, here is the Briggs & Stratton model and type. I will also have this information in the description below. And here is also the family numbers on the side. Now this engine recently had a complete overhaul done by me. I put a new spark plug in there, a new, um, I cleaned the carburetor, a new air filter, also cleaned out the fuel tank. It did have a little bit of rust in there. Uh, and I made sure there was no rust left. Also, we changed the oil on it, and now I'm gonna be showing you the linkages. So let's go ahead and take off the air filter cover first. This top cover is held on by two 5 16 screws on the side here. Let's go ahead and remove them. I have my Milwaukee impact driver and a 5 16 nut set. Take that off, set it aside, take the yield filter off as well. Now I do have one 5 16 bolt broken off here. Uh, that's the only issue with this machine. And also the muffler will have to have a new exhaust installed on it. But let's go ahead and take off these three uh, bolts first. Okay, so here is the configuration. Here is a top view. And a side view in there. So this rod here is your choke rod. As you can see when I bring the choke back, it turns back like so. And when I set it to run, it comes back. On this particular model, on this carburetor, it has two slots. Mine is on the lower slot. And on the choke arm, it, there is only one hole. So the second part of the rod just goes in that hole. Now, second important piece is the idle throttle spring, excuse me. So here is your throttle. As you can see, the spring is loose. And when you push the throttle to the bunny, it wants to increase tension on that spring. And there's the configuration, the long end hooks on to your governor rod and the shorter end hooks on to this little piece here. Now the third piece is the actual governor rod. Now I will not be taking off the engine shroud just because for the sake of time. Well the governor rod, this is how it connects. There's one hole on this plate on the carburetor. So this is where the governor rod connects. And then on for the fourth piece here, the governor spring. Here's how mine is connected here. There you are. Now, if you guys do want to see the governor rod, uh, email me privately. I can take off the shroud and send you guys a picture if needed. Um, but that's about it for the linkage configuration. Carburetor, governor spring, you got your th uh, choke rod and your throttle spring. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, I will have the model and the family type of this Briggs & Stratton particular 3.5 horse engine in the description down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.